All right. So here we are. Uh, half marathon time. Made a shirt for VHS class of 2020. Yeah, pretty expensive. Um, daughters weren't too keen on me borrowing their markers. Anyway, okay, mistake number one. Um, I was going to go down the cowboy trail from about Crookston to Valentine. Um, I think it's mislabeled. It's not the cowboy trail. I think they're talking about the Hochiman trail. You history buffs look it up because, uh, this is not the well manicured path that I was promised, I guess in the brochure, but, uh, anyway, I'm going to have to, uh, going to have to modify my route to the highway. Um, but so the next time you guys don't train for a half marathon, might want to scout out your territory and your, and your route beforehand. Just a little, just a little, you know, tip. So anyway, I appreciate, uh, you know, everybody, uh, following me along on this little adventure. Um, yeah, I'll try to update every mile or every 20 minutes, whichever comes first. Uh, goal is to get done in three hours. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, we'll see. But, uh, I think I'll start off by, uh, trying to do a little light jogging. I don't know. Maybe I'll save that for later. Uh, the wife dropped me off here. Um, but, uh, yeah, we'll get going on this and, uh, you know, I woke up with a side ache, so that's good. Tells you what kind of shape I'm in. Um, yeah, so here we go. <sighs> Wish me luck. Okay, I figured I'd better get a live action shot of me actually jogging just so people would believe me. Aw oh, crap, I forgot to start the tracker. Uh, uh, oh man. Well, I better start it now so it makes sense. Okay, otherwise nobody's gonna believe me. All right, but I am jogging. Feels pretty good so far. Of course, I think I can walk faster. We'll see. A lot of time to experiment, kids. A lot of time to experiment. Great morning, though. All right. Better start my tracker so this is believable. Later. All right. Only 12 more to go. Feeling good. Uh, no, just... I can keep this up for a while, I think. It's around a 10 minute mile pace. I'm okay with that. Uh, the last time I, uh, let's see. Last time I ran more than a half an hour, was at least two or three years ago. So I think I can keep this going. Uh, so go along here, got a couple of things in mind. I Share about the class of 2020 as I go. Um, yeah, I'll uh, have a more organized the next mile. And I'm just wasting good air every time I talk. So, yeah, saw some mule deer across the road. That was cool. It was even better when they didn't get hit by that truck. So that was even better. So, um, yeah. See you in a bit. I told you the internet was crap, it got cut off. Anyway, I don't know where it got cut off, but Lena Beach. Lena, uh, it's been fun having you. I always remember your smile, your silly stories, uh, talking around the trash can in the commons area. Glad you're a part of this class. Um, it's been a good, good addition. See if I remember Alba Rhea Benson. Oh my gosh, 
uh, never forget that time where I was trying to do a little bit of coaching your freshman year. <laughs> Going over the offense and uh, out of the corner of my eye I could see this something's going on and I look over <laughs> you were just seeing how high you could jump um, jumping in the air and then looking down to see how high you were jumping um, yeah and then uh, of course that laugh is uh, who can forget that laugh that's awesome um, Clay Billings man what a just an overall pleasant, enjoyable kid to have around. Um, just <laughs> go with the flow. Um, always remember that. Very likable, likable kid. Uh, all right. I'll do some more seniors on my next mile. Uh, all right. Whenever that is. Later. Okay. Mile three. Sorry if this is annoying going live every 10 minutes, but it takes me like five to catch my breath again. So, anyway, um, Audrey Bronner, I'm going to remember you. Um, and I mean this in the deepest, you know, like the, the greatest compliment I can. Your witch role in uh, the one act play I'll never forget that uh, it was awesome you're so into that character it was great to see you on stage and do that and be a part of that and then uh, being a super helpful office aide um, loved having you around for that so um, let's see Logan Kate uh, gonna miss your hugs man uh, gonna miss him. Um, just a pleasant kid to have around. Um, you know, don't worry so much about things. Yeah, it's uh, uh, it's gonna be great for you. You're on doing great things. Um, Michael Cornelius, never forget. Um, got to know you when you're a track manager. And we'd spend some time shooting baskets after school, um, which you got significantly better at, by the way. Um, and just an excellent uh, conversationalist. Um, and then uh, Faith Cox. Um, I'll remember you. Um, not so much for the uh, soda machine incident, which you and I know what we're talking about. But just your ability to um, try a bunch of different stuff, um, you know, cheerleading, one act, um, track, FFA, all those things, and pushing yourself academically. Um, and uh, so that's why I'm going to remember you. So, uh, all right. Downhill feels better than uphill. Anyway. I'll see you in a bit. Mile four. Um, pretty sure I could walk past her, but there's, it's the principle of it. <laughs> principle. Anyway, um, yeah. So, going on with the class of 2020. Oh, by the way, a red conversion van ran me off the road. Um, I, I won't be lying when I realize that I probably could die doing this, but I felt it was probably more likely of a heart attack than getting hit by a car, but anyway. Um, Jenna Cox, uh, loved when you come in the office and have conversations with me, um, talking about your horses and rodeo, um, and uh, just overall presence in the office uh, is very very fun to have you around um, and also 
you know, taking two independent college classes and basically a sophomore in college right now, that uh, work ethic was very admirable. Um, Trinity Danielson, man, you have come so far. Um, you're off to do great things at Doan. Um, just how you, uh, from your freshman year to senior year, great positive changes and that's all on you bud that's made a lot of great great choices uh through these four years okay let's see jacob dorian man most self-sacrificing kid i probably know um do anything for his family um i remember you and how fun you were to watch play basketball and especially on the defensive end, um, just intense the whole time. Love that. Um, um, Jordan Edwards. Uh, sorry, wait for that guy to go by. Uh, great addition to the class of 2020. Nice, pleasant kid coming in. Um, his senior year, getting things done and moving on. That was your goal and you hit it, buddy. Excellent work. Um, Jeff Fisbeck. Uh, you could probably rip me in half because you're so strong. Um, I appreciate you not doing that. Uh, and you probably ate more food in the hallways without me knowing anybody in history um, but I'll remember you for man you're just a smart intelligent kid um, and uh, tons of endless possibilities so appreciate having you guys around it's been a blast so all right on to mile five I'm pretty much down to a crawl at this point uh, I'll be honest, I didn't think I'd be able to go five miles without walking. I think I can get at least halfway through this bad boy. Um, of course, at this pace, who couldn't? Um, now, my defense just got done coming up a hill. So, give me a little time to let that burn settle down. Um, okay, let's see. Grant Fisher. I'm going to remember you for being so fiery on the athletic uh, service, the football, basketball, um, just when things went your way, it was just so fun to watch, watch you get fired up and everybody else rally around you. Uh, surprised you didn't get hurt more, but uh, anyway, glad you didn't. Um, let's see, Athena, uh, my favorite thing about you is how comfortable you are in your own skin. I wish I could be that way. Um, you just did what you wanted because it was who you are. Um, and I think that's awesome. Probably one of the most important characteristics anybody can have. Um, Shelby Grooms, uh, tons of awesome memories. You balled for two years. Um, I was there for both of them, I think. Um, that was awesome. And just overall positivity. The bubbliness, just a personality that I'm gonna miss very, very deeply and severely. So, um, and great having you around. Gracie Gudgel. What a funny kid. I cannot go anywhere without hearing you laugh, smile. That was uh, awesome. Seeing you every day in the lunch line, talking to you, going to art. I don't know how anybody got anything done in there. Uh, but amazing characteristic to have. Always laughing, always having fun. 
Okay, Giles hand shoe. Giles, so many awesome, uh, awesome things that you've accomplished. Um, just so adaptable now. Your faith is unbelievable. I wish I had that. And the way you were able to finish school and the way you did, so bright. Um, just loved every minute of it, buddy. All right, guys. I'm gonna try to get six and a half done before I walk. I think I can do it. Talk to you in a bit. Oh man, that hill killed me. But I haven't stopped to walk yet. Oh man, this really isn't terrible except for the hills. Um, okay. Moving on, Allie Hitchcock. Man, what about true competitor there? Just gritty. Um, I'm not talking about just sports either. Just grit. And getting through things with positivity and just a great conversationalist. Um, love talking to you, love having you around, watching you play. And just overall, just hanging around and being a part of VHS. Lux, Lux and Hollenbeck. Uh, I like how one day you can come out to school decked out in cowboy boots and a buckle and flannel shirt, you know. And then the next day, come, and it looks like you've been skateboarding all day. And then the next day, where like you've just been to a formal banquet, man, you must have a million outfits. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna dodge this car. Hey, thanks for getting over. Anyway, uh, and you're my neighbor, so that's awesome too. Uh, let's see. Oh man, Maisie Holman. Uh, Love that little inside joke we had. Um, I probably loved it more than you did, to be honest with you. But uh, anyway, you're going to be an amazing educator. Um, it, your internship and everything you did and everything you shared, your passion for it, it's going to be awesome. Can't wait to see how you do there. Uh, Aaliyah. Yeah, love you, Aaliyah. Sorry, my speech is impaired at this point. Um, but Aaliyah, just such a lovable character. Um, loved having you around. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's just been so fun, Aaliyah, because like, I know that uh, when I see you in the hallway, you're extremely happy about something we're down in the dumps about something that honestly will take care of itself. So um, I just love that about you. You always knew where you were at and uh, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll miss that big time. John Keller, leader, um, you know, so humble, so humble for somebody who scored as high as you did on the ACT and not letting anybody know about it. Um, humble on the football field. Uh, gosh, sorry about your injury this year, but you know what? You know, your attitude about it was amazing. And that's very, very admirable. So uh, keep doing what you do. All right, kids. I'm gonna see if I can't make it to seven without walking. See you in a bit. Actually, see you in a long while. Okay. On the verge of seven, I think my wife's up here. Some water and a corn dog. I'll tell you what that's about later. But, I'm gonna make it seven and then I'm gonna walk. 
because I want to be able to finish this for you guys. Which I realize some of you don't even care, which is fine. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, got about 200 meters to go. It looks like where I can get some water. So um, let's see here. Rain keepers. I call it keepers because it's a Loop City thing. Keyboards. Uh, uh, just love your intellect. Um, you're a super handyman. Uh, building props, doing things um, that are just outstanding. Always remember that. Keeper. Uh, ultimate business guy. Right there, super smart. Uh, it's going to be tough going into Scotty's and not seeing you and Kylie. But uh, anyway, um, yeah, and you guys know we'll always have uh, junior year of social studies together. <laughs> Never forget that for sure. Okay, well, here I go. I'll get some of the rest of you here in a bit. Coming up on. Coming up on a checkpoint. All right. I know that was a long one. I'm still running, but I did stop from walk for about a half mile. Uh, thanks to Christy and Rihanna, I got a nice bottle of water that helped. Um, I feel like I severely miscalculated my distance. Um, the highway must cut off a lot of a lot of distance between Crookston and Valentine, but anyway, I'll make up for it when I get to town. Um, Gage Krolkowski, most people are going to remember you for your four state championships, um, and I'll definitely remember that too, that's a heck of an accomplishment. Um, but I, I'm going to remember you as the ultimate example. Um, when you lost the one and only match you've ever lost in high school in double overtime, and we all know you got hosed. But anyway, you didn't, you handled that better than anybody else in that whole, whole gym. That was amazing to me. I'll never forget that. Talk about it all the time to people. Um, just excellent character. Um, Chelsea Lamb, just such a pleasant kid to have around. Um, you're quiet, so nice, um, very, very helpful. Anything anybody needs done, you try to contribute however you can. And I love that about you. Um, Summer Mayhew, uh, just Another joy to have around. So talented in a lot of different things. Art, music. Um, just very independent. I mean, you're one of those that could just go off and do whatever you wanted to and everything will work out great. Morgan McKinley. Mo, I loved watching you just absolutely turn it on in sports. Um, you had a switch that when man, when you were wanted to go and compete, uh, there wasn't a whole lot that was gonna stop you. Um, so I appreciate that about you. All right, here's my wife. I'm down to a walk now, but, 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 but keeping the same pace as I was before. My lovely wife uh, stopped, got me some, uh, you know, fuel for my last five miles, which Valentine's up here in like less than a mile, so, oh, again, I'll have to make it up in town. Jeez, that's hot. So, kind of sticking. Ah. Wow, vehicle. 
Uh, kind of sticking with the theme of what not to do to prepare for a half marathon. Um, I got some ideas from a really good friend of mine. And gosh dang it, can't get this unwrapped. So I figured there's no better way to fuel up for something like this. Than eating a corn dog. Yeah. You know, actually, that's pretty dang good. Uh, oh, yeah. I can feel the energy coursing through my veins now. Um, I'll tell you part of the reason. See, most people would pick something like an energy bar. Fools. If something were to ever go wrong, oh my God, that's terrible. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, that was a bad choice. But if something were to ever go wrong, on this little venture, I'd have to spend the night out here. I have this stick. I could break in half, rub together, and start a fire. Boy, when I say it out loud, it sounds stupid now. But anyway, finish off this corn dog. And then I'll finish this bad boy up. Oh, less than five miles to go. I'm kind of feeling good about all of this, really. But, okay, so I'll finish this up, and I'll get back to more seniors here in a bit. And I'm keeping the stick just in case, no matter how stupid that sounds. All right, peace. I know it sounds dumb, but running actually feels a little bit better than walking. Well, it's not really running, but whatever this is. Um, nine miles into it, taken to the trail, or what looks to be somebody's own personal howie. But uh, anyway, um, not too bad. Got a little over four miles left. Um, no doubt in my mind I'm going to finish this bad boy, but how, I don't know. I need to, when I get to town, I'll get it figured out a little bit. Um, okay, seniors, Kaylin Miller, uh, man, I love your feistiness. Uh, you came as a freshman here, and I thought, oh, Nice, timid little girl. Oh, she doesn't see. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you are a nice gal. Uh, 100%. But uh, I love the way you stick to your stick to your uh, guns on certain items, and that's a, that's a great characteristic. Um, you're going to make an awesome conservation officer. Um, or whatever you choose to do, so... Uh, I'm gonna miss that. Still a mere head. Super, uh, super smart kid. Nice kid, completely do anything you ask him to do. Um, amazing ability um, with your, being able to put out videos um, and all that visual, digital stuff that I'm no good at. I should have hired you to document this whole trip here, but anyway, going on to do awesome things. Chase Olson, uh, probably the number one speech that I'll never forget in my entire life. Um, after you won your state championship this year, uh, one time champ, baby. One time champ. 
but you know you're more than that to us uh just amazing kid amazing kid super nice um feel like a broken record with our kids just every single one super nice love to have them around but that's who they are um big part of that justice man a few words um love watching play football and being around super quiet but somehow justice you were the one thing i could always find and i don't know if you've ever got that joke every time i said it but it's lyrics to a song but anyway gonna miss you justice Catherine peterson um absolute doll absolute uh most helpful kid um just won't do anything taking over the live stream um great uh office aid um you're gonna be an amazing teacher you're just gonna be awesome i just know it um so yeah kids um all right got a few miles to go i'll keep checking in okay remember i said about running feeling better completely wrong uh walking feels great um yeah it's from mile 10 so basically um one high school cross country race left um yeah so on with our seniors uh ramsey ravenscroft um again another one of those just amazingly pleasant kids to be around um loved having her in basketball she was one of the most coachable kids um, that I've coached. Um, you know, I, I'm going to remember you um, based on your, what I will always consider your state medal in golf. Um, and, uh, you know, the second day you were playing awesome and they called it and they went off the first day scores, but you are a state placer in my mind and always will be um and but the way you handled that again was probably a lot better than the way i'm gonna would handle something like that so um i really admire that rams sky or regal all american um god there's just nothing that you don't do uh just a just tremendous example and leader always do everything with a smile everything with a smile i used to think that like gosh if i was playing defense on this girl in basketball i'd get so frustrated because she's smiling all the time but i'm gonna miss that um our halls were always full of cheer and happiness when uh, you were around because of that smile um so don't lose that ever Uh, a little traffic build up here. Um, Rihanna Rhymers. Uh, again, uh, coaching basketball. And I had a blast doing that. Um, really coachable kid. Again, kind of one of those that like, if you, if you give her a little crap, she's going to dish it right back. And I love that um smart kid super smart kid gonna go on and do great things um generous giving uh gave me a bottle of water on this run which really helped and uh what really helped most was just seeing you in your face and uh hey whew. anyway um got a few more miles to go and uh, i'll check back in all right 11 miles into this got two left and try to time it to where and finish somewhere where i can anyway don't want to overdo it by any means um anyway uh let's see uh thanks to mr sayer for dropping off some water 
Um, yeah, it's not so much the lungs and breathing at this point, it's the legs. Man, feels good to run sometimes, or you know, whatever. I'll call it run, but you guys all know what it, what it really is. Um, and then sometimes it feels good to walk, but all right. Uh, all right, so seniors, Caitlin Seipel. Uh, yeah, another addition to the class of 2020. Um, uh, great addition, super nice kid. Um, love seeing you around. Always got something witty to say. Um, uh, yeah, love having you. Um, Kylie Simon, another addition. I remember when you first got here, the very first day, um, you know, you're really, really sheepish and shy and glad to see you came out of that. Um, great smile, always happy to see people and just be a part of their lives and um, very, very fashionable, um, you know, which is a good reason why you're going into cosmetology, so. Um, anyway, let's see Kylie Stock. Love seeing you at Scotty's. Um, super independent. Um, get things done on your own. Um, no nonsense. Um, good conversationalist. Love seeing you around. Super adult. And, uh, I know you're going to go on to accomplish goals, do great things. Jackson Strimple, authentic, one of a kind kid, uh, super neat, um, ability to do a lot of different things, music, art, uh, smart kid. Um, love seeing you in the play. I'll never forget your tough guy role this year, which pulled off extremely well. Um, so. Uh, let's see. Tory Tennant. Uh, never forget our uh, National FFA trip this year. That is a trip that every year is going to become more and more special to me because of being able to spend that extra time with seniors, especially you, Tory. Um, I miss O'Keefe. And uh, so. Uh, yeah, love uh, love how your your work ethic in the classroom and and in an FFA and doing independent studies and and just uh, being all around great kid, great athlete, and uh, gonna miss having you around, Tori. Um, so, all right, um, I'm gonna try to walk the majority of this here and hopefully finish up with being able to run a little bit. I don't know. We'll see. This is feeling really good right now just to slow it down and walk, but I don't know. I'll check in in a bit. Okay, about a mile left. Um, walked a little. Well, um, I think I slowed down by having to start to jog, but anyway, um, gonna try to get this done here. Um, so, got, I think four seniors left. So Shane Urban, what I'm gonna remember about you, buddy, is when you smile, I never know if you just aced a test or you're getting away with something. <laughs> no, uh, you uh, have a very high ceiling uh, when it comes to academics. And, uh, and go on and do great things. Um, Kaylee Vavra, I loved our chats. We had quite a few. It's been great to get to know you better throughout the years. Um, and go on and be a lawyer. You're going to do great things there. And I uh, love going to speech meets, seeing you do that. And uh, it's a shame you couldn't do it. Your senior year for districts and state you're another 
State plays for in my heart. Um, just because of the lack of opportunity to even perform, but I know you'd have been down there and done great things. Grace Wadraska, same thing. Um, your speeches were hilarious. Um, very comfortable in your own skin, and I admire that a ton. Um, very authentic and uh, hilarious. And yet, when it comes down to academics, you get the job done, very serious about that, and, and uh, check off goal after goal. So keep doing that. And Clayton York, Clayton, buddy, uh, love seeing you in the hallways. My favorite thing about you is when you do something, you have an accomplishment I love to hear about it and you come find somebody and you tell them about it and your excitement for what you've done is awesome um, going to Northeast you're gonna work on cars be happy and uh, that's amazing uh, so that's it class of 2020 um, I really hope I didn't forget anybody if I did it wasn't on purpose it was the delirious and delusion setting in um, on this little venture. So, anyway, I hope I only have a mile left. I hope I didn't miscalculate. But anyway, all right, check in a bit. And I'll be honest, I ran from the ball diamond to the hospital, which now I think about it, the hospital was a great place to end the run just in case uh yeah uh my goal was three hours and then as i was going my goal was two hours and 45 minutes so i got it done and just a hair over 240 um but anyway i gotta keep walking around because i was starting to cramp up um that, that corn dog was a bad idea oh gosh you can thank Heath Johnson at Palmyra High School for that that bit of advice to eat a corn dog in the half marathon. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, I I just can't think of a better way to end up than right here at VHS, and uh, yeah. I wish the parking lot was full, guys. Um, well, it's Sunday. So I wish the parking lot was full, you know, tomorrow. But uh, class of 2020, um, always remember you guys as a collective group that just got along so well, um, did so much for our school and our community. And uh, yeah, just want to show you a lot of gratitude towards that. And um, if you guys ever need anything you get a hold of me so all right love you guys thanks for everybody sticking around and watching um yeah at least it provides some entertainment uh i hope anyway but uh all right talk to you later